Well, hello everybody. I'm going to do a review on this quarter inch angled pneumatic die grinder I picked up from Harbor Freight. I've actually had this for quite some time now and I'm actually really pleased with it, especially for what I paid. Now these retail for $19.99. I know I just happened to be in the store one day and they had them on sale for $10. So how could I pass a deal up like that? So I went ahead and picked it up. I do have a straight Mac die grinder that I use with like burrs and things like that, rotary burrs. Uh, but this is really good for cleaning gasket material and stuff if you're working on a motor. You can use a roll lock type device like this, which has an abrasive pad on it, loaded up in here. And this is actually what I use uh, to clean my engine and things of that nature, the gasket surfaces. I also have a small set of wire brushes that can go in the end that I use for it. Uh, it is actually a pretty nice tool, especially for what it costs, even at $20. It does come with two wrenches, and they work well enough for the collet. No complaints there. This thing will spin up to a max, I believe, of 20,000 RPM, so it really gets it going. Uh, it is a little bit loud, uh, maybe a little louder than my Mac that is about this same size for an air motor, uh, but I can't complain about it. You need about four CFMs to run this constant, or you're going to have to wait for your compressor to build up. You guys can look into that if your compressor can drive a tool like this without having to stop and let the tank reclaim. Mine is plenty well big enough. Uh, you do need to hit it with a max of 90 pounds of air. So I'm going to go ahead and just attach some air to it right now and just let you hear it. I'm not sure how well this Sorry about that. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to do, so it may get loud, it may attenuate itself, who knows, but here we go. Runs really good, runs really strong for what it is. Uh, you do need to oil it daily. Uh, I personally use this Zoom Spout oiler with the oil that it comes in. You can pick this up at the hardware store for three, four, five bucks. Uh, it's got a nice spout on it. You can get down into places where you can't with regular bottles. Collet wrenches seem okay. Collet seems just fine. I'll go ahead and open this up and look at the collet. I've never even really looked at it. Nice machining. Nice machined collet. does accept quarter inch shanks put it in pull it back a little bit get on it with your two wrenches tighten it up and you're ready to go now if you look at these online the picture that they show actually has the paddle trigger on the top of the device and there is no safety in it uh, but this is the one that came out of the box, just as an FYI. Uh, if you guys have a need for one of these, uh, you will need to supply your own air fitting, which is not uncommon to anything you would buy that's pneumatically powered. Uh, I would highly recommend getting one, especially for their cost. I have absolutely zero complaints with it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck.